How's it going guys? I'm back July 7th, Sunday, 2013. Associated Press came out with this. Hawthorne, California. Three police officers have been pulled from street duty for their safety in Southern California after a widely circulated video showed an officer fatally shooting a Rottweiler and drew numerous death threats. Now, let me stop there. If you haven't watched this video, you're probably living under a rock because I actually avoided it and after everybody and their grandmother told me to watch it eventually I just said okay fine I give in and it sucks it's pretty sad basically what happens if you watch the video just YouTube Hawthorne police shoot dog and uh, what happens is there's a guy recording police from across the street with his dog on a leash and it looks like police are starting to walk towards him so what he does is he goes through his car which is right next to him and he puts the dog inside and the windows are halfway down he goes back to where he was standing and turns around and puts his hands behind his back sure enough they arrest him for recording in public so they arrested him illegally and without any probable cause wasn't talking to them wasn't screaming at them nothing watch the video prove me wrong so of course the dog worrying about its master is able to jump out of the car and runs to his master now the cops get scared but they don't draw their guns yet one of the cops goes up to the dog and tries to grab the dog by the leash now this dog is like half his size so what made him do that I don't know they could have just unhandcuffed the guy told him to put him back in the car and put the windows up and could have left him there like with the windows cracked but of course they didn't do that they, this was on purpose from what I saw at least my opinion of course and so the officer goes for the dog's leash more for the collar actually it wasn't the leash for the collar of course the dog not knowing the officer snaps at the officer of course the officer runs back and then draws his gun and shoots the dog four times and it dies and so I think people are threatening this officer and his family, well these officers and their families, and I'm pretty sure their families are realizing people are getting tired of crooked cops. And I say crooked cops because they arrested him without probable cause. We have a right to record in public and they're probably going to try to get him with a felony like they did to me. And he's going to beat it just like I did. Now it says here, Hawthorne Police Spokesman Lieutenant Scott Swain told the Daily Breeze the decision is for the officer's safety after the uniformed officer shot the dog four times on Sunday. A cell phone video that had more than 3.7 million views on YouTube by Thursday morning shows a dog named Max being shot after scrambling out of a car's backseat through a window and lunging. That's even that's incorrect right there, folks. That's not even true. Copy and paste this or read this word for word or pause it and then go watch the video. Tell me if the dog jumps out and lunges at the officers. It, it, that doesn't happen. The dog lunges at the officer's hand after the officer's hand goes for his collar. But then again, the media is already, you know, doing a PR spin here. So, witnesses can be heard crying out in distress after watching the dog's grisly death. The, dog owners, the dog's owner, Leon Rosby, said police needlessly killed his dog. His lawyer, Michael Golden, said Rosby's complaint will be added to an existing lawsuit Rosby has against police. Surprise, surprise. Now, I understand that people have been affected by this video. Anyone would be, Swain told the Breeze. The police officers involved are affected by this incident and having to kill a dog. If they wouldn't have instigated it, it wouldn't have happened. Then, the lieutenant says, I don't understand how it translates into an eye for an eye. We are going to kill you and your family because of this incident, he said, of the threats to the officers. Now, I'm going to pause there. See, that's not what's happening. What's happening is people are tired of just being arrested for no reason. People saw that and people are getting tired. So now people are threatening these officers and their families. And eventually you're not going to hear people saying, stop it, stop it. You're just going to hear pop, 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 pop. And then, you know, it's, it's kind of like it's getting a lot harder for officers, for the good ones out there that aren't just doing what they feel like, you know. Because these officers which is most of them are so corrupt they're doing whatever they want and they're being recorded and put on YouTube and they're being exposed for what they are nothing but criminals 
So of course, Chief Robert Fager has called for calm and urged people to be patient as police investigate the shooting. They're going to be exonerated, of course, because the dog did lunge for the guy's hand. And also avoid information being circulated through social media because fallacies are being perpetuated. No, the video is being perpetuated and people are seeing what really happened. And they can't do anything, so here's the PR spin. And they're failing miserably because people do not trust the police. So, I think... I mean, I feel bad for the officers because they are being threatened and their families are being threatened. But at the same time, they started this whole mess. And people are getting tired of it. And so, eventually, there's going to be... Now, this is why I believe the feds have done it to where the officers have these shooting targets as old people, young people, kids, pregnant moms. Because... You see, when they grope a woman in the future and the father sees that, he's going to be a little bit older. So he's going to shoot the cop so that they can better react to shooting citizens. They practice. So they're basically, see now keep in mind this is the, federal, the same federal government who's running these guns laundering money, drug money, selling drugs. Now they're training these criminal cops, not all of them, but some of them, most of them in my opinion, criminal cops to do the same thing. To be able to be better at committing crimes. To react faster to defend their criminality, criminal actions. Just like this uh, female that was groped by the cop in a private room after she requested a female cop and he said no. And now he got fired, and now the family court that the video that's also circulating everywhere, they're under investigation as well. People see that girl has to be a single mother, and their their parents dead. Her parents dead, because I don't know how this cop is still alive. If for my daughter, it, that wouldn't happen, in my opinion. Thank God I don't have any kids. I, I'm, I, that's probably why I don't have any kids. Because the feds are training these cops to become criminals like themselves, basically. And they're saying, hey, here's a green light. We're doing it. You guys can too. They're not going to do nothing. Oh, and by the way, if they try, guess what? You got shooting targets and uh, they look like the citizens now. So don't worry about it. You'll have a faster reaction. It's basically what's happening. So I kind of feel sorry for the officers and their families. I mean, I do. But at the same time, if they wouldn't have instigated this false arrest, it wouldn't have happened. So this is one other reason why they want to control the Internet, because, you know, they don't like being exposed for the criminals that they are. So let me know what you guys think, what's going on here. And uh, do you really think that uh, they're not going to be found exonerated by internal affairs. I mean, it's just only logical they are. So, leave your comments and uh, thanks for watching, guys.